So here we go. So I didn't really video me putting the rear end in, but I'm just going to give you an, an overview of what I've done because this actually took longer than what everybody says it takes to put them in. Of course, everybody's using probably nine inch rear ends and and uh, Chevy ten bolts. This one was this rear end was set up for uh, I think an eighty style Crown Vic, but there's some things that are not really kind of right but the the control arms on the bottom did this one did bolt in correctly this one kind of didn't the only thing I just had to do was actually take my all thread and kind of bend it a little bit to make make it uh, angle over to the mount down here and of course you don't see that my coil springs aren't in yet because I still have the factory rear off the car and the, and the spring hole ain't big enough to go down and over that because I actually still need to get uh, fronts to put on the back and um, and since you know this is a totally different rear end than what they usually set up I'm not sure you know if these ears are really in the correct spot but you're supposed to go through this hole. I had to make another hole. This is just temporary in here. And, it's in, and this one's in the right hole. So, and plus what I also I have to do, if you kind of notice, that's in center. And this one doesn't have a kick out on this side. So actually what I'm going to be doing, and then it's going to move the alignment of this upper control arm. Is, is I'm going to have to make another slug like I did on my A arms up there and then slide that in and weld it in and then it will change the alignment of this back plate over here and here so I've got to do that and then get the coil springs and then the one inch thread all oh this a little bit of a pain in the butt, but you know, this is the only kind of rear end I got, and Sarah wants to see I go make my cameo. Hi, how you doing? So but everything's just kinda of temporarily in. They give you these crappy bolts, grade, whatever. I'm gonna get some grade eights and slide them in. These are just it's just temporarily in here now. I was kinda of hoping this would be I set it in and call it a day. No, it's not possible. But what I'm going to do when I do get these remade, these spacers, is, is most likely what I'll do is I'll just tack these in at the bottom because I don't know, if you can't really see it, but there's there's holes where this actually gets drilled, you know, through the packing tray and then they bolt in. So then you, at the uh, end of the day, you can unbolt them. You can. You can kind of see them up there and there. So then at the end of the day, you can actually just take these off with the rear end and, uh, you know, they're reusable. Now, up at the front of the lower control arms, here it is. And what I'll actually do is, is I'll weld this in. I'm going to get rid of this mount, plus the outer mounts. Same over here. I'll tilt this up. So then that way it's got room to travel and yes I've already jacked this thing up and then lowered it back down my wheelbase is still 114 inches so everything's good but yeah this is a uh, three-quarter ton rear end Chevy rear end that's going under here and kind of a fun modification to not really too fun but I got it in so I think that's about all I got to say about this, but you know, ZRT made a really good brackets for this, and you know, maybe if I was putting a a, a ten bolt like they put in all of their cars, maybe this would have been uh, a little easier. Or maybe if if I had my ears on the war, you know, if I cut them off and then re I just don't want to really cut them off. Because, you know, the welds still look pretty decent under there and everything. So, I don't know. 
I think this video is long enough. I can stab it up real quick. So, but yeah, that's uh, that's that, and I'll actually when I you know finally get everything done, I'll put up another video. So there'll be two parts to this rear end. So this is the uh, part one of uh, installing the rear end in my car. So yeah, there you go.